nice to have you again my friends here on Will Edutech. Now in this video we'll, we're going to be looking at the solution for question 4b on the CSEC math exam pass paper for January 2012. Now the question states water is poured into a cylindrical bucket with a base area of 300 centimeters square. If 4.8 liters of water was poured into the bucket what is the height of the water in the bucket so basically what we're going to be doing we're going to be calculating the height okay of the water that is inside my bucket here my cylindrical bucket as you see i have here it on uh, in this visual all right now quickly they have given us some pieces of information here so let's just quickly get into it and fill out these pieces of information now here if you notice my friends they gave us the base area of the uh, the amount that it well they gave us the base area which is 300 centimeters squared so by the base area they they simply mean this this circular I'm shading it in right now the circular base down here that's the base area that they have given us and just let, let's just make some quick notes okay so they said they said that this is 300 300 and I'm writing it in 300 centimeters squared okay so that's the base area now let's go back to basics with what with stuff that we had learned earlier no, we, we would have already learned that volume, okay, volume of a cylinder uh, is equal to the, to, well, pi r square times or multiplied by the height, okay, or pi r square h, that's the same thing. Now, basically what is happening here, guys, uh, if you notice what they gave us in, in the formula, they gave us the base area and pi r square. If you should look at this portion, okay, pi r square. Pi r square would be the area of the circular base. So instead of saying pi r square, what they said in this lesson, they just simply used the base area. So they said base area, area, okay? So volume here would be equal to the base area times the height. So instead of giving us pi r squared, they just said base area and they gave us the value for the base area. Okay, so the, I just wanted you to make that connection. Now, basically, to calculate the, the volume, we would have to look at this other piece of information that they have given us, my friends, which is they, they have stated if 4.8 liters of water was poured into the bucket. So basically, what I'll be doing now, because in math, we have to use common units, all right? Since they gave us the base area to be in centimeters squared, what I'm going to be doing, I must convert my liters to centimeters cube, okay? To, get, to substitute it for my volume. So the next thing I have to do is to say 4.8. I'm going to convert my liters to centimeter cube. So I am saying in a thousand, a thousand centimeter cube is equal to one liter okay that's just the basic concept thousand centimeter cube is equal to one liter so therefore if i need uh, if i need 4.8 liters to be converted to centimeter cube i must say 4.8 multiplied by 1000 that's how we would convert it okay so here we would have 4800 centimeter cube so the cylinder Okay, the cylindrical bucket, uh, the, the volume, the volume of liquid or the volume of water that is inside of it is basically 4,800 centimeter cube. Now, with these pieces of information now, it's easy to calculate the height because by substitution, we can make a general connection now, my friends. I can say the volume, the volume which we have here, and as we have made a connection, is equal to the base area because the base area is the same as pi r square okay so we can say the base area base area area multiplied by the height okay now we can just substitute values they we have we have converted our volume or liters rather to centimeter cube so we can say this is four thousand eight hundred that's a volume centimeter cube which is equal to the base area which they had given us here to be 300 okay 
300 times the height that we are trying to find, okay? Which is this height here. And let me just quickly use my pen to mark it. That's the height we are trying to find right there. Now, this is pretty easy here. In we're saying 300 is multiplying h, so to transpose by transposition, we have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is to divide through by 300. So let's do that to both sides. 300 here will cancel 300. 10 into this, 10 will, 0 will cancel 0, another 0 will cancel another 0. So we're left with 48 over 3. And 3 into itself goes once, 3 into 48 goes 16 times. So therefore, my height, which is h, and I'm just turning this around, it doesn't matter, it's an equal sign, so it doesn't matter which side the h goes on, I'm just writing it in its general form, h is equal to 16 centimeters, okay? So because we were given a worded problem, let's just make present our answers in words. So there we go, my friends. Here we have our statement. The height of the water in the bucket is 16 centimeters. All right, so that's it.